Let me show you this cool effect that I just added to one of my high level websites. It's kind of like a glow in the dark type of gradient that moves. I'm going to show you a few ways that you can style it. And by the end of this video, you will be able to add it to your own high level websites too. I'm going to be doing this on this SaaS agency website. So this is a website for a GHL SaaS. And specifically, I'm going to add this on the pricing page right here. Now, before we start adding effects, we need to understand why is it that we're adding it? So in this case, I'm not just adding the effect to make this website flashy. I have two plans right here. This one is the 129 a month monthly, and this one is the 99 annually. So of course, a GHL agency would prefer to collect all of the cash upfront for an annual plan. And here we're going to use the effect to draw the attention of prospects to this column right here. Anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this right here, this column in this case, I'm going to go to advanced. And then here in the advanced, if we go to custom class, I'm going to type the word glow gradient child and you'll see why in just a sec now if you don't know this column is a child to this row and this row is the parent of this column we're gonna go to the parent element so in my case we're gonna go here and here what we're gonna do is go to advanced and for the custom class we'll do glow gradient parent now the way that we're going to add this effect is by adding some code. So if you already have my notion doc, I've added tutorial 2.7, how to add a moving gradient glow effect. If you don't know what this notion doc is, this is basically the resource that I use every day to build better websites for myself, for my clients. It has code snippets, examples, and videos, kind of like cheat codes for websites. Anyway, so we're going to click the tutorial 2.7 right here. And we've already done steps one and two. So let's go to step three and we're going to copy this code right here. Copy go back to high level and here what we're going to do is click on the custom css button right here and if you don't have any code this will be blank in my case i do have some custom code or some css i'm going to open up some space for myself and i'm not going to do it at the top and i'll show you why in just a sec so i'll paste this right here hit save and now if we hover our mouse over this section right here you'll see that we have this cool glow effect now the next thing that i'm going to show you is how to change the width or how big this glow is so if we open this up right here here you see that for the blur radius we have a 2 rem if i wanted to make it bigger let's say i do 8 rem i can hit save and when i hover over this you see how the effect is a lot bigger let's say that i wanted to make it so that this effect is in the entire card what i'll do is i'll click on the card i'll go to general and then for the background color i'll set it to transparent i'm going to preview to show you this live so let me scroll down here and you'll see this very cool effect now you see that when i hover over this section the entire card has this cool glow of course i would fix the fonts to make sure that everything is easy to read and easy for your prospect to consume this is a very cool effect though that you can implement on your high level sites and you can do it very easily with no coding experience at all now let's say that i wanted to change the colors to match the rest of my site you see that i have a light blue to a darker blue what i'll do is i'll click this right here let's say that i wanted to add a new color i'll click add and then with this picker tool, let's say I wanted to pick this uh, light blue right here. I could just do this, copy this hex code, go back to here. And remember the variables that we want to change for this effect are C1, C2, and C3. This one is for my previous effects that I had. So you probably won't have those. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace the C1 right here. Make sure that I add the hashtag. Let's say that I wanted to use three different colors, the light blue, the dark blue, and white. I already know what white is, but I'm gonna show you why that is. So if I go all the way to white, you see that is FFFFF. And here I'll just type FFFFFF and then hit save. The last color that we need to add is this dark blue. So what I'll do is go to the custom colors right here, click add, and then select this right here. I'll select that dark blue right here. I'll copy the color again. I can close this since I'm not going to create a new color. Go back to the code right here. And then here for C2, I will just replace it just like this. Make sure that I add that hashtag. I'm going to hit save. And now you'll see that when I hover my mouse over this right here, I have three colors, the light blue, the dark blue and the white. If I wanted to make it again, so that it's just the borders, I'll click on the actual card and then make sure that this is set to black. And now you see how I have this very cool gradient that matches with the rest of my site. Now, let's say that you wanted something in between. You can click on this right here, click here again. And then instead of black or transparent, you can just select overlay. 
And now when I hover my mouse over that section, you see that it's kind of subtle, very cool, looks very high end, and your website on high level will definitely look better than everyone else out there. Now you're probably wondering, what if I wanna add this to another section, or let's say I wanted to add it to both right here, how can I do this? Very simple, what you can do is click on this section, go to advanced, and then copy that CSS selector. So in this case, it's glow gradient child or that custom class, I mean. And then here we can just click on this other tile where we wanna add the effect to go to advanced and then here on this field we can just paste the custom class and now you see that when I hover over these two cards they have the effect of course in this case I would make sure that they're both consistent so for the let's say the background I wanted to make sure that they're both the same color so now you see how very cool I have that effect now you're probably wondering can I add this to my entire website and the answer is yes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this section right here on this website and let's say that you wanted to make it so that as soon as you hover over each of the different features right here there's also that cool effect if you try it just like this you'll see that this doesn't work so let me just add it to a few so you get an idea as to why this wouldn't work so now you see that i added the glow gradient child class to these uh, sections right here but you see that when i hover over these there's no cool border around it as i told you in the beginning of the video we need to add a custom class to the parent section as well so what we can do is click here go to advanced and then make sure that we add this right here instead of child it's parent and then if i hit enter and i preview this site let me just show you what that would actually look like live so here's the site and as i start scrolling down here you'll see that on that section if i hover my mouse over these tiles right here get the cool like glow around it so it's very very cool very interactive looks very high end now for your websites i want to emphasize you don't just want to add tons of effects without purpose so if you feel like there's some things that are kind of like distracting the, the attention of your prospects you want to make sure that then you add just what is required i'm going to keep scrolling down here now you see that when i hover over this this looks very cool very interactive and it's definitely something that's going to be memorable for when prospects land on your site if you're somebody that builds websites on high level whether it's for yourself or for clients and you want to have all of these cool effects that i'm kind of showing you in these videos this research will literally take your high level websites to the next level even if you don't know any code at all so click the link in the description and get your own copy